Hello. A very warm thank you to Jonathan Emmett and Rebecca Harry. Such a beautiful book. Foxes in the Snow. In the middle of a forest, beneath the roots of an old oak tree, lived a family of foxes. It was a cold winter's day, but Mother Fox was going out to look for food. Stay here in the den, where it's safe and snug, she told her two cubs, and with a flick of her tail, she was off into the forest. Alfie and Bonnie snuggled down at the back of the den. But Bonnie soon got bored. I'm going to look outside, she said. Remember what Mother told us, called Alfie. You mustn't leave the den. I'm just looking, said Bonnie. Bonnie poked her nose outside and gasped as something white and fluffy landed on it. She tried to pick the fluffy thing up, but it disappeared as soon as she touched it. Alfie, Alfie, come and look, she called. The forest was filled with strange fluffy things. They were falling through the air all around them. What are they? asked Alfie. Whatever they are, I want one, said Bonnie. And they scrambled up and out of the den. They forgot about staying safe and snug. They forgot about what Mother Fox had told them. The two cubs jumped into the air, trying to snap up the fallen snowflakes. They melt in your mouth, said Alfie. They tickle your tongue, giggled Bonnie. Through the trees they ran, laughing and leaping through the whirling whiteness. The snow was falling thick and fast now, smothering the ground and covering the branches, until the whole forest lay hidden beneath a thick white blanket. Suddenly Alfie stopped and looked around him. Where are we? he said. They've been having so much fun that they hadn't noticed where they were going. Now everywhere looked strange and unfamiliar. I think we're lost, whimpered Bonnie. Then Alfie had a brilliant idea. Look at our paw prints, he said. We can follow them all the way home. So back they went, noses to the ground, tracing their tracks through the snow. But it was getting late, and the forest was getting darker, and the paw prints grew fainter and fainter until they disappeared completely. The snow must have filled them in, sniffed Bonnie. Alfie and Bonnie huddled together. The forest, which had felt so friendly, now felt cold and dangerous, and the two cubs wish they had stayed safe and snug in their den, as Mother Fox had told them. Crack! Suddenly a twig snapped, and the cubs caught a glimpse of something large running silently through the forest. It's a monster, said Alfie. Quick, hide, said Bonnie, pulling Alfie behind a tree. But whatever it was, it was headed straight towards them. The two frightened cubs backed around the tree on tail. Hoof! The snow gave way beneath them, and they tumbled down into a hole. Help! cried Alfie. What are we going to do? I don't know, whimpered Bonnie. Just then a large sheep appeared above them. It was Mother Fox. Why do you look so scared? She said. We didn't know it was you, gasped Alfie. 
How did you find us? Bulleted Bonnie. Find you, said Mother Fox. But where else would you be? Now everyone was puzzled until Alfie realised where they were. We're in the den, he said. Of course, said Mother Fox, just as I left you. It was a cold winter's eve, and Alfie and Bonnie were back in their den beneath the roots of the old oak tree. As the cubs finished their supper, Mother Fox told them that they would have a big surprise in the morning. What sort of surprise? asked Alfie. If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, said Mother Fox. Alfie and Bunny curled up sleepily together, safe and snug, in the corner of the den. I think I know what sort of surprise it is, whispered Alfie. It's the sort that melts in your mouth and tickles your tongue, giggled Bonnie. But I'm glad Mother Fox is coming too. Thank you so much for listening. That was very sweet. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and just head on over to Sebastian's Action Trust and show them some love. Thank you.